Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and today we take a look at a setting in the Windows 10 settings panel as we are going to continue from time to time making the videos trying to complete and check out every setting in the Windows 10 settings panel. What I'm showing you is on the May 2020 update. There could be some slight differences with your version but most of them should still be pretty much the same. Uh, in general. So we're going to look at the display settings for ease of access. And this is good if you have some difficulty um, viewing your screen or, um, you know, as we get older, our eyes aren't the same. Sometimes we need a little help to make things a little clearer on our screen. Well, that's where some of the settings might help out. Simply go into your settings app, either by the quick actions on the bottom right click all settings. You can also go to the start menu and click the settings. And there you will go to ease of access. And the first option is of course display. So the first option you see make text bigger. For some of us, this is something we need to do. And so you can actually choose there's a little slider here. And of course, there's a sample text showing you how large the text is going to be depending on what you choose. This affects pretty much everywhere in your PC once you click the apply button. So it will affect even the text and software. It is really the displayed text. Make sure if you choose bigger text to understand that in some cases, this might actually make some dialog boxes uh, seem weird or kind of too big text could be missing. There are some weird funky things that can happen when you put the text uh, a little too big, but it helps if you have some difficulty reading. You click the apply button once you've done. Then there's make everything bigger. That one is for all the size of everything you look on your screen, including the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. So if you want to have basically the screen bigger, everything, the text, the dialog boxes, all of that, this is where it's going to go. There's a recommended size for the display. And the reason why is because depending on the resolution and the size of your screen, there are options where this might not be the best option if you put it too big. For example, in dialog boxes where you have to click an option to say yes or no or OK, sometimes you don't see the dialog options to answer. And that's because this is too big. So remember that technically it's better to choose the recommended size. Uh, but if you choose bigger, remember that sometimes it could create some weird things. You have changed the size of apps and text on other displays. So that brings you to another option here. And if you're using more than one screen, you can actually change all that for the other uh, screen also. You have an option to change the size and the color of your cursor. Also, this can help a lot for those that have difficulty. Um, one of the things that I like to do very often is to uh, put a contrast so that the mouse pointer is always um, very, very easy to see. Uh, in my case, I made the mouse pointer bigger because sometimes when it's too small, it's tough especially when it's very bright in the room to actually find on the screen. Then you have the brightness of the built-in display, which can be uh, changed here. Remember, if your display is not a built-in display, if it's a external screen, this slider does not work. It works only on built-in displays, like on laptops, tablets. And finally, you have simplify and personalize windows, show animations and windows. There's uh, sometimes some little animations depending on the window that you open or not, or all sorts of little animations that uh, will happen when you resize. If you don't want to have those, you can turn that off. Show transparency in windows. Some of you might have difficulty seeing text. For example, here on the left side, you see that it's transparent. I could see kind of through it on what's on my, um, my screen on my, the wallpaper basically on my screen, uh, on my desktop. 
So you can remove that. Some people have difficulty reading text when it's actually over um, transparencies. There's automatic, automatically hide the scroll bars in Windows. These are the bars that are on the, um, you see here on the side where you can scroll up down on different uh, apps. If you have this turned on, it's automatically hiding it. So you see there's a very thin um, little line showing that there's something here, but uh, this is, of course, you can turn it off. That means they're always going to be showing, and it's easier to find if you have some difficulty finding where the uh, scroll bars are. There are notification times. So when there's a notification, for example, if your control um, center sends you a notification, there might be a time that you want to select here. And there's a show desktop background image on some people prefer solid colors. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.